Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully get all that our role permission. Now all that our role name is visible and also a specific uh, this role area, I have already assigned some of the permission and all that our permission is also now visible. Now we have to do, we have to edit and update it. That means when you click as the edit, then that will be just like our role in permission page. If you open it, that means that will be loaded this type of one of the things. And also for a specific this role, if I selected some of the um, permission, all that are permission now that should be selected, right? Now let's do that work. For doing this, that is in our all role permission page. Here, there is one of the button as edit and delete. First of all, I have to complete that our edit. That means we have to go to that our all role permission blade, right? That I have already created in our role setup and that is our all role permission. Great. And here you can see that is one of the edit and that is all on the another button as a delete. So now I want to do, I want to create on the new route and I just named that route as a admin, okay, admin edit role. And also here we have to edit it with a specific one of the requested ID, which I have already taken it um, from our for each right here, right now we are already into the for each loop. Now here I also pass that our ID. Now we have to do, we have to create a, that is this type of one of the route. Now I want to go to our web route into the web route, same here. Okay, here better I want to copy it and then I want to paste it. So now that will be our route name. I name it as a admin edit roles and also that have one of the ID. Now I want to name it as a admin, okay, admin edit role. Our URL will be as a admin edit and then role. And also after that, that will be one of the ID. Great, great. So now I want to create another new method as an admin edit, okay, edit and then roles. Now this type of one of the method I want to create in our role controller. Now if you go to that our role controller here after our all permission, I want to do and to take another new method that will be as a public function and our method name will be as an admin edit role. Okay. Here I simply created this role and also that should be one of the requested ID because in our parameter area I have already passed that our requested ID now we have to actually take it that is our requested ID. So now here we have to do have to take all the data so I take that as a role and role will be our from our role model from to the role model I want to get that as a find or fail or that is the requested ID I simply get it okay and I take the things with this variable as a role and rest of this will be just like our add role permission as I told you that page will be just like this right here we have to load all that our role also we have to specific this role related all that our permission that should be loaded so now that will be just like that same here in I have already done our add role permission page now better I want to copy it okay I copy the total things from here and now after that I want to do I want to paste it okay now that is our permission that is a permission all I want to get all that our permission and also in our user model area I have created one of the function as a get permission group because here also we have to load that our group by all the data now I want to create another new page in our backend pages role setup now I want to create another new one uh, like as the edit okay I name it as edit edit roles permission and here I pass that as a role okay I pass it as a role which is fine and also I want to do and to pass it by the name as a role great that is our permission okay permissions and that is our permission group great I simply pass all the things in here now we have to create this type of one of the page as edit role permission I want to do and to create it in our role setup I want to create on the new file now click as a save as and I just name it as a edit role permission dot blade dot php okay great so this page will be just like our add role page that means that is our add role page I have already created before that is our add role you can see that's the add role permission now I want to copy everything from here and now we don't need it I want to do and to simply paste it in our edit role area okay great great so here i simply added everything now one by one we have to do have to update it now first of all i want to update that our text that will be as edit okay edit role in permission and then here we don't need to load all that our roles i only want to do i want to visible that name right i have already get that our find or fail our requested id i take the things with this variable as a role now by this role we can actually display our role table field name 
now that is on select form we don't need any select form okay here better i want to then to remove it i only want to display one of the h3 tag okay i name it as h3 into the h3 area i want to display it our role name only should be displayed so that will be by the variable i have already get that role variable specific row id data i take it and now with this role right here into this position with this role i want to display our role table field name as a role now that should be display our role name great now a specific this role related all that our permission now that should be loaded right here before i have actually loaded that things like that way now we have to do um, that is actually our one of the condition as a permissions right so first of all i want to do to simply cut it from here and now our in our first position i want to do to add it in our column three here i want to add it okay great so that will be just like that same here that will be same we don't need to change anything then that will be our checkbox okay into the checkbox area now that should be display our group name and now our group name also that should be as a selected because of all when i selected then i also selected that our group name and i selected all that our group related permission right so both of these should, should be as a selected now that is our group name here if you want to do this work um, i want to do in our input field okay into the input field area now we have to work little bit like here after that id okay i want to done to put on the condition i simply added that condition so in particular that area i want to do and to create another new um, function okay here because we have to actually get all that our group by data that should be also as a selected i want to do in our app in our app backslash then that will be as a model okay models and backslash and then that will be our user user model area now i want to create another new function as a role okay role has permission permissions now this type of one of the uh, function i want to create and here i want to do i want to pass our role that i have already get it okay here you can say i have also passed that our role so now with this role i want to do and to pass that our role and also i want to pass that our that permissions okay which i have already passed both of these in our edit roles permission area so now i want to do and to pass it why i'm actually pass it everything will be more clear so now simply pass that our role and also i want to do i want to pass that our permissions so you can say i have already get our get permission by group name which i have already take it with this variable that is the things i also want to do i want to pass it okay great so here i simply pass both of these so when our role and our permission will be as a match then okay i want to do i want to put this condition in here then then that will be as a that is one of the checkbox right so into the checkbox area if you want to make it as a selected then that is also another class as a checked so now i want to do and to make it as a check then that will be as a checked else it will be as a empty okay so that's all you have to do now that's all now that should be as a selected now we have to do have to create this function as a role has permissions this type of the function i want to create in our user model if you now go to that our user model into the user model area here after that okay after that i want to create another new one that will be the same as a public static and then function and our function name will be as a role has permissions okay this type of one of the function i want to create great great and here i have actually passed two of these things right i have passed that uh, from to this position that is our all and that is our edit right so here i pass that as a role now role and permission both of this parameter i want to do and to take it in here in our function area i want to do i want to simply take it great great so now i want to do here i take one of the variable as it has okay has permission permission now this step of the variable i simply take and first time i want to do i want to make it as a true okay so first time that will be as a true i simply for i take one of the variable as a hash and that is our hash permission into the hash permission area first time that will be as a true okay now we have to do we have to selected all that our permissions right here for the reasons i want to do i have already take that our permissions in here now that will be actually multiple one first of all i want to write this code then everything will step by step will be very clear i want to write one of the for each loop so into the for each loop area here i want to do to simply take that our permission as i name it as a permission okay permission 
great so now this time of the name i want to take and here i want to put one of the condition as a if condition when i want i have also get that our role right role means which role here i have also passed that our specific selected data that means row id data when that will be matched with our requested id here i take it with this variable and also i pass it in our um, edit page and into the edit page that is the role right so now i want to do i want to access that our role so that is our role okay when that will be not okay i make it as a not not this role will be has a has okay that is also another default um, function by the permission package as a has permission to okay permission so that will be the has permission to so that is one of the default function in this PyT package. So now I want to do, I want to call this function as a has permission to and into the permissions to area here, I want to pass that our permissions name, permissions name if you want to pass it. So that is our permission. I take it our permission as permission. Now with this permission, I want to do, I want to access that our permission table field name as a name. That means our permission name that should be get. Okay, so here oh, it will be get and then I want to do, I want to make that our has permission, has permission will be as a equal equal false. Okay, so false. That means if this actually get that our all permission, then that will be as a selected rather than it should be passed another uh, Boolean value as a false. That is our has permission will be false. Okay now i want to do i want to return it that means after that i want to return return that our that is the has permission i want to do i want to return it great great so right now first time that will be as a true when it will be get that our permission when that will be not match with our role then it will be get our with the has permission it will be make that our has permission as a false that means that is that should be not selected right here now with this has permission i want to put all that our condition so now i want to do and to go back in our role that means here in our edit role area here now our group name should be display and now in permission because here that is all that our permission now that should be selected right so now after that okay here that is on the id the checkbox function that is a value great so now after that i want to do i want to put another condition okay i simply added that condition condition will be again i want to do i want to add that our role okay that will be as a role and now with this role i want to done to call this permission that means that is our name i name it i name it here if you go that is under the default function as a has permission to okay now i want to do to call it as a with this role i want to call this function as a has permission to and with this permission to i want to do i want to simply display our permission name so i have already get that our permissions now with this permission i want to do i want to access that our permission name okay when this name we shall be get then then that will be add one of the checkbox that means that will be as a checked says so i make it as a c h e c k e d checked okay then that will be add that checked and else it will be as a empty okay i make it as empty now that's all that's all we have to do with this role that is a has permissions to here i will when this will be get that appropriate all that name then that will be as a check else it will be as a empty and here i also display our permission name hmm, that's all now let's check this out it should be our permission should be as a selected and also our group name should be as a selected okay and also our permission that means our role a role should be display now let's check this out if you know click as a save all i want to run as a php artisan optimize okay i want to run that optimize again so optimize is running successful and now if you go like here i want to refresh it again like for the manager i have already selected as a amenities menu amenities all, all amenities add and amenities edit right now if you click as a edit let's check this out yes you can see it successfully display our role name as a manager and for this a specific manager i have selected as the amenities our group name is also selected and also this group related all that our permission is selected hey, great and if you go like for the admin i have already added some of the um, permission now click as edit now that is our admin and you can see which things i have actually selected it's now successfully and get all that our group is selected permission is selected great 
great and also i want to check that our sales that is a two should be selected now if you go yes you can see there is a group name and name is successfully selected great okay so now friend we have to do we have to update it that means a specific that sales that is a role should be the same only now a specific this role related i want to update some of the permission or the group whatever you choose right now from to this position i want to update it okay so how to do this work better i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video